everyone, and welcome to Autzen Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks and the House of Loud, a place where great teams go to die. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Washington Huskies, taking on the number one team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Ducks will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Bringing it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They challenged this crowd to bring the energy, and I'd say they're doing that. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. It's so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football, and then you got to worry about other stuff. But a great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going and getting the speedster on the ground. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Hand off to the single running back. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Pollock. Nah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. A low line drive and not his best work. And nobody able to feel that punt as it rolls out of bounds. Line gets set, first down. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncoverable. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. It's complete to the right. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. And the Ducks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Johnson. Giving him his pads. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Ducks will hustle to the line. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And he's showing all of those attributes right there.
lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. A very efficient five play scoring drive. And the capper on that drive, the 10 yard touchdown run. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. This offense has a second down play. Back to pass. It's Rodgers. Grabs it in the middle. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Part of the DNA of the Washington offense has been a guy who can get it done with his arm. And just finding a guy that makes everybody around you better, that can make the right decisions, that can highlight your skill positions, that's what get the Washington fans going crazy, going nuts, and that's when they have those great football teams. Quickly out to the tight end. Net had all the makings of bug meat windshield, but how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. This Washington offense moving quickly down the field. Grabbed behind the line, it's Jackson. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And they get suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one, it's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Coleman. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Washington sends out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Quickly complete. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. That's a really nice looking throw. And when I think about the Ducks offense, I think about explosive plays, right? In the running game, but also in the passing game. I feel like if this team is going to win the conference, they need this guy here to be able to make throws like that on a consistent basis. But I'll tell you, he really gives them a chance. He makes this offense go. 
and he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off play action. Looking to the big tight end. Finds a man by himself. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. I just love the job this offensive line is doing in this game, communicating pre-snap. They know where the pass rush is coming from, and they're working their single and double teams and not giving up any ground. Just look how clean that pocket was for the quarterback to throw from. Holds and fires complete to the right. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. This offense has become a first down machine, and that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps. They're not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they are going to be gassed. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got his man quickly. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. The Ducks trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now it's second and goal. The run up the middle, looking for the score. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Ducks! This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They marched 72 yards, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Reynolds. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Yeah, and I just need a crease. I need you offensive linemen just like right here. Great job holding the point of attack. Don't let any penetration come in. Give me a little sliver, and then you see the running back, Palmer. He'll do the rest, lower his shoulder, and make sure he gets the first down. Yeah, it means a lot to this offense, too, to have a guy like this that always just seems to fall forward. He always, in these short yarded situations, knows where that first down marker is, and he's able to get those hidden yards in piles, driving his legs to help keep this drive alive. 
One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Washington wants to go quickly. Quick pass on the fly motion. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Second down now as they're ready to go back to work. Looking to pass. It's Rodgers. Pressure coming. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. Well, give the defense credit on that one, because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. I wouldn't quite call it a shank, but that's not exactly going to go on the resume reel. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a manageable situation. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Running with power. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He wants to throw. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Oregon! And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. When these offenses get in the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. But jet sweep pass. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. 
Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. To throw, it's Rodgers. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. Washington sends out the punt team. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. Second down now after the sack. They'll go to the toss. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes, get those first downs, get those big chunks. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next, and to the next, and to the next. The offensive line going to have to do a lot better job, giving him some more space so he can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll try the run. On the nasty move, and now he's got room. Push down for the tackle. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. Muscling ahead on third and short. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. Scanning the field, it's Rodgers. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Wide open downfield. 
And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Productive pass offense for the Huskies, and they've had a long line of quarterbacks who've gone on to the pros. Yeah, a lot of guys that you can think of. Warren Moon obviously was so dynamic, so good, but guys that were surgical, guys that read the defenses, made the decision, made big plays. That's what the Husky fans want to see. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Line getting set on second down. Trying play action. Throws to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Boston. And he makes a grab. Defense draped all over him, and it's first and goal at the nine. Listen, QBs and wide receivers got to be on the same page, and they, you got to know when to throw that curl route. It's got to be on time, right when the wide receiver breaks so the DB can't catch up. Nice job, QB and wide receiver, being on the same page, getting some positive yards. And the Huskies are threatening on first and goal. Back to the air one more time. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. You could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw. It's Rodgers. And he was trying to cash in in the end zone in this red zone threat, but it's incomplete. It's tough to throw the ball down here in the red zone, man. These windows, they open and they close so quickly. You've got to have great timing. And right now, this offense doesn't have it. They've thrown two straight incompletions, setting up third down. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. I know it's early in this game, but man, this defense has had their number. They've done a great job. Already built a huge lead. Now getting this offense in a situation where they got to pass the football, and they better protect their quarterback better than they are right now. So they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll need a little distance and to bend it just right. A 41-yarder from the left hash. It is good! After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Fielded in the end zone. It's Whittington. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Paul. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. From the gun, the ground game. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Now the defense will try to rise up on third and short from the 21. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. 
And the offense gets pretty lucky there. Third down in your own end. You're throwing to try to get the first. That ball just a little bit late. And as a result, they're lucky that wasn't a pick six. And the Ducks will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. This is hardly the start they dreamed of, down 21-3. But get a touchdown here, and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. Yeah, and it's frustrating for this offense as well because they've got the horses. They've got playmakers to light this scoreboard up, much more than the three points we're seeing here. I think you just got to stay true to yourself, do you, David, and know that the points are going to come. Well, it's also frustrating when the defense has given up points almost every single possession. So they they need to score here and take this down and have a good drive, and then the defense needs to pull their weight a little bit, too. Movement here from the tight end. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Second and ten after the previous play. They'll run play action. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Being started out great on this drive, but then a couple of incompletions, and now it's third and ten. To the air, it's Rodgers. Fires the pass, intercepted. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. Zone equals eyes. And when I say that, DBs, linebackers, all covering the middle of the field. So many guys over the middle of the field trying to take away the easy stuff, but reading the quarterback's eyes the whole time. Whenever he breaks to throw that football and that hand separates from the ball, I'm breaking on it. You could tell they had a beat on it. Nice cut, nice instincts. Give me that INT. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The inside handoff. Finds a little bit of space. He'll get three out to the 15. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. It's caught. Off to the races to the right. The 20. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Ducks! You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Lining up to add another. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And boy, did they finish with a huge play in the passing game, scoring from 85 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. 
Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it because you've dug yourself a significant hole. The throw to the outside is complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Looking for a man. It's Rodgers. Fires to the big fella. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He'll come out throwing on first down. A strike downfield. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Huskies! Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point cuts the lead to 28-10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. So they got the score. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Comes out throwing on first down. Quick completion on the out route. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in a first half. They gave themselves room to operate with that first play. Now first down from the 37. He'll off one deep down the left side. He's got it at the 15. Touchdown, Oregon! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Man, oh man, when you got a weapon like that, you got to find him and you got to give him the ball in space. You have some plays on your play sheet and some of them just say, that guy, get him the ball, let him do the rest. Dangerous weapon out of the backfield, catching the football, making the big play. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. 
The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart if you're going to be aggressive with your decision-making. On the run, it's Coleman. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. He'll bring it back. It's Johnson. And the returner is stopped. So it's first down, but with just a few seconds, they'll try to put up a three before halftime. He says he can kick one from 75, but here he's going to need just 58 of them. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So that will go into the stat book as the rare one-play drive for a field goal. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Washington about to boot it deep to start things in the second half. He'll bring it out. It's James. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. He'll start this drive firing. He's got an open man. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. After a big gainer on that first play, now they can really go for it on first and ten. Grabbed over the middle. It's holding. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Good job reading the defense by the quarterback on that RPO feed. He waited to see how the defense was going to play the run. He saw defenders bite up close to the line of scrimmage, and right away he knew he had the slant throw right in behind him. They've got it. First and 10 at the 42. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Grabs it inside the 15. Touchdown, Ducks! And the beatdown has ensued. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Well, you could draw a line in the middle, and he would have hit that thing. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 
on the run from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. It's now second down after the short completion. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking for space, it's Coleman. Out across the 20 to the 21 yard line, a three yard gain. Now the defense will try to keep them on this end on third and short from the 21. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. That defense got gashed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The Huskies will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. Unloads to the wideout. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. He's back to throw on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Jackson. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. When these wide receivers work the middle of the field, so much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. A famous writer once said, most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Here is a desperate move, going for it on fourth down, trailing by double figures. They stop him short of the marker and they'll turn it over on down. Got it in the middle, it's holding. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And he's knocked down. Get you some of that. And with that completion, now he's over 400 yards on the day. That's a really, really good game for this quarterback. He's been almost flawless. Now on second down. From the gun, running back gets the give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. And maybe that's some... And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. This defensive end is an animal. He already has two sacks, and we're only in the third quarter. I'd move him around a little bit more defensively so that the offense has no idea where he's lining up. Because right now, man, he is feasting. The Ducks will try to pin them back with the punt.
That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. And they're on him in a heartbeat, and down he goes. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Rodgers. Gets it out quickly. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. When we see another catch by this guy, this defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Looking to throw on third. Caught close to the marker, it's Latu. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. The great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, gets the first down. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. It's a draw. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Beautiful play call offensively at the perfect time. In that situation, the defense obviously expecting pass, so they sneak the draw in and gash the defense. Washington has a lot of things working, set up with another first down. Wide out in motion. Going up top on first down. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. Touchdown, Washington! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Well, when you call the wheel route, you need to have the right matchup, and that time they did. It was the linebacker on the running back, one-on-one. -on -one. He uses his speed, beat him to the outside, and that's about as easy as it can get. He'll try to tack on one more. Blitz the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Off play action on first down. Fires one high and deep. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel getting some heat. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete to the left. Afterburner's coming. At 
at the 20. Touchdown, Oregon! And the pummeling has started. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. And they pick up the extra point. Kicker knocked it right down the middle. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Lost one deep down the right side. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. And that is no fun for that wide receiver thinking you just ran all the way downfield for that. You're not out here trying to run gassers or get conditioning. You're trying to catch TDs. What's going on? The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. Live by the blitz, get hit with a chunk play on the blitz too, especially if you're man up on that dude. And you know what? You lose some battles, especially to receivers like this who are so elite. You're going to lose some of those, but I'm still going to be aggressive. I'm still going to play man. I'm still going to have to bring some blitzes. So I look for this defense to stay aggressive, but maybe give that guy a smidge more attention. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Now on second and goal. The give on the inside. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one yard line. So offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. They want to power it in on the ground on third and goal. Touchdown, Ducks! And the stomping has commenced. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out in this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. 
A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To the air, it's Rodgers. The quick out. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. When on that outbreaking route, really it's designed for the receiver to make the catch before falling out of bounds. Nice timing and anticipation by the quarterback on that throw. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires left. Pass is incomplete, but a lot of contact there. I think it's going to be pass interference and a first down. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. And they can't make the connection. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. After the incompletion, let's see if they go back to the air on second and ten from the 33. They're bringing heat. And that one's too high. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Well, it's been that kind of day here tonight. They just have not been able to find a rhythm and establish that throwing the football. Part of it has been wide receivers and quarterbacks not being on the same page, but you got to give this defense credit, too. Just like that last play, they have been getting after him. They've been hitting him, and that's a big reason why they've got such a big lead here in the fourth. They want to just keep throwing it. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football. And the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. The Ducks trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second and goal for this offense. Tries again to get it in. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. And the punishment has been extended. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns for the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. 
on to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. Quickly complete. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains, they mark it at the 29. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And, heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He's looking to throw it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. This offensive line is not going to like watching the film back uh, tomorrow when they get the opportunity because they have gotten beat time and time again up front, especially in passing situations. All of the hits, all of the sacks that this quarterback has taken is the biggest reason why they're going to lose this game. Second and ten, he'll throw again. Snares it outside, it's Latu. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Grab near the sticks, it's Coleman. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He'll just keep slinging it. He's taking the shot. He holds it in, and nobody's close. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Washington. Yeah, and good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed. But at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. Getting set for the point after. Right down the boulevard. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Try to get it to the edge. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Crosses the 30, he's got away. And he uses the stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. Yeah, this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run, because right now, this offense is having their way. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. 
Looking for space. It's James. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Give to the running back. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. A third down try for the offense. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Right down the middle. On target to the left. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead. They've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the scoreboard. To the ground with the back. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Here comes the option. And he didn't get the pitch off, and he paid the price. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Johnson. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? When you play zone coverage and you got a wide receiver that's a beast, it becomes very, very difficult. I gotta make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Wants to throw. It's Rodgers. Pocket starts to collapse. Just a short pass to the tight end. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. He's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. Fires to the tight end. 
Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but makes life really easy on me on second down. After that last completion, it's second down. They keep attacking through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Jackson. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Hey, QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. To the air, it's Rodgers. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds, incomplete. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Sixth play of the drive coming up. He wants to throw here on second down. Fires to the middle. He's got it. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Man, let it rip, young fella. I mean, closing in on 450 yards, throwing the ball early and often with a lot of success. Washington coming to the line with another first down. Now from inside the red zone. That's caught. It's Jackson. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Wants to throw on second down. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Absolutely perfect. And the field goal was good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. And I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to kick that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. If you want to win this game, you need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. Yeah, no stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they've built this lead. They've had a great day today. Facing a third down and short from the 26. 
using his legs. It's Whittington. Nice move to stay on his feet. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. 